All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Nice loop and punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of it. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Flips the punch. You can't break your will. Beautiful punch. Oh, 
All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Nice head kick. is all about that left kick to the body. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Big kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Trying to establish that jab once again. Real sneaky body kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick lands. with that body kick. Oh, another head kick lands. How is this man still standing? Unbelievable toughness, but even better execution on the other side. Back and forth we go. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. What a body kick. Checks the leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. They're going at it now. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 seconds left. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice counter right hook there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead of the race as we go into the second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the leg kick. I mean, he's cutting it down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. You're in a lot of trouble. All right, 
Now working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Both fighters get up now. Changes his stance. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just over three minutes now to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Wow, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Dig and kick. Kick to the body by Lee. Straight punch land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Good. Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great here. Oh, that's a good right hand. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just misses with the right. Not there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big punch lands through the middle. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Head kick. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Grips the body there. All right, round three coming up next. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin. It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picked 
picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful strike. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Looks like he could. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand on the counter is true. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Got the turtle in that kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice counter left hook. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the. it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. 30 seconds to play, 30 seconds. 20 seconds left. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Slips. Big kick lands. <laughs> oh, man. oh, straight right. Get in and attack that leg hard. Get that kick down. Oh, nice. Nice. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice kick. Slips. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Just misses with the jab. Nice straight punch. Separate. Nice kick. Just over three minutes to go. Big body kick lands. Oh, big head kick there. <laughs> nice punch lands over the top. Is right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Checking a leg kick. Check that one. Pretty good right hand. Big body kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And they separate. really on the ropes. His opponent's on B Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Big kick lands. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he comes through with a big knee. Nice 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Punch over the top. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. The right hand just misses. Slips the shot. Oh, and he caught the kick. Beautiful body kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked. Like that. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Big head kick. That Ooh, knee. Big that knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. That was a good. Side leg kick. Oh, oh, put him to sleep. oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. I mean, how many can he take? Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh! Look at that. It's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. He's done. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 5. 
declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.